Today, I'm joined by professional designer, creative director for many companies, everywhere from your mom and pop shop to your multi-million dollar company. He's been in the industry for over a decade, specializing in website designs, logos, names, taglines, domains. This is the man you want if you want to create a name and design that pop. I'm joined by co-founder of Sparrow Websites, Mr. Justin Rule. Welcome to the show. Hey, man. Thanks for having me on the show. It's my pleasure. My pleasure. So we got a ton to talk about here because I really want to help all the listeners out here create designs that are going to just spark the imagination of viewers and, and get people to, to really dive in. Because let's face it, there's a lot of crappy websites out there. Would you? <laughs> really where have you been looking there, yeah, there's, you know there's 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 a lot of great places out there like you know uh wordpress wordpress bluehost wix shopify there's it's easier than ever to create a website yeah, yeah. but that means there's a lot of crappy ones out there so i want to start here from a design standpoint justin what mm -hmm. separates a great website a great looking website from a cruddy looking website that, that's, that's a great question because when you say when you say there's crappy websites some people might think Oh man, it looks crappy. Actually, some of the you know worst websites they look beautiful, but they don't do anything for the business owner, right? They they look amazing. They have the cool video background, and they they just you love it. Your secretary loves it. Your staff loves it. But the person that lands on your website's like, what what am I supposed to do? So mm. to answer that, I feel like what separates you know not great from great is probably more in the eyes of your customer than in your own perspective. So basically, if it's not producing leads or producing like, you know, good conversations um, and you're getting these calls, hey, I went to the website to, to find that thing you said, but I can't find it. Mm. Uh, it it's a little bit more of that. The, the part that I would say um, should also be true though, is it should be authentic to you. It should be, you know, if you make beautiful interior designs or your food looks amazing because you, you know, you played it just right then, yeah, make sure it's authentically represented on your website for sure. But you got to have that like conversion smooth pathway. So I think it's, uh, you know, I think bad is confusing and good is like clear. I don't have to think a whole lot. I know where to go. Um, and then it's just, it's kind of icing on the cake and great if it, it looks well and beautiful and in that process. Yeah. Yeah. I, I could not agree with you more on clarity. Clarity is so mm -hmm. important. And I've kind of gone back and retooled my website several times. I think one of the, the mistakes that people make when it comes to like their main landing page is they've got too many buttons, buttons that do different things. <laughs> you know, what's something that you've seen that's been successful in creating clarity? Like what's a best practice? I'm going to the drawing board. I'm building yeah. out my website. What's the best practice I could, I could follow. No, that's great. I mean, it, it's a great question because it really depends. You have to, number one, know or have a great either data set or, or hunch of who's coming to your website and what they're looking for. And so with that in mind, before they scroll, you know, that first three seconds, you know, hopefully your site loads in under four seconds. We all know that after four seconds, you lose half of your audience per second. So keep that in mind. If you know, you know, your business owner, Google will tell you that if you just run a free audit, on your website with Lighthouse. I mean, this some of this stuff is easily accessible to us. We just don't think through it. But number one, you've got those three seconds. And so best practice is have one single next step there. You know, when we take over websites and we look to optimize conversion, it two things we do right off the bat. We take away sliders and that, because what happens on a slider is you, you start to read something and the image changes and you, you know, you're like, squirrel, squirrel. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Wait, what is that? Oh, I should look at that. Um, so number one, just take away the slider, you know, have a single image in the background. But number two, give me one next step. You know, sometimes you can get away with two. It's like, hey, you know, more about our team or look at our guarantee. Um, but really, you just want one thing. You don't want three buttons along the top of your header and then two in that main hero image. And now you're asking me five questions at once. I don't even know what you want me to do. So get one single thing there and don't ask for marriage before you've even start to date them. That's a, that's like our joke of like, it's like, Hey, want to sign a contract now? Hey, want to buy this thing? Hey, want to donate to my nonprofit? Honestly, take that out of the top of your website. Nobody, they don't even know enough to know whether they want that or not. So stop, stop asking for marriage before you've even told them something about yourself. So I, I love this load times sliders. Don't get yeah. married on the first date. These are all like really 
easy yeah. mistakes you can make, but really easy fixes you, you can make. Justin, love that. And of course, you can find out a ton more at sparrowwebsites.com, uh, Justin's company. So Justin, I want to talk a little bit more about load times because that's that's a really tricky thing because you want your website to look beautiful and have these crisp, clear images. But if you're uploading you know, huge digital files, your website ain't going to load. How can we get our, what are some actual tips that we can use to make our websites load quickly? Yep. Let me give you a bunch of free candy, man, because a lot of stuff out there you can just do. So number one, uh, burmy.net, B-I-R-M-E.net is a free tool online that does two things. One, it will optimize your images, but you can also then title tag, like SEO title tag your images in that process. So load 40 images off your iPhone into burmy.net. Tell it, hey, you know, my business name, title, you know, service title. And as it optimizes those image, it will actually put the title tag on it as well. So that's going to speed up your image and give you, you know, a, a title tag and an SEO friendly, um, you know, in thing for Google to index. That's one free tool. Love it. Or you can put Imageify, which is a free tool. You can pay. You, there's a paid version, but there's a free version of Imageify. And it's a plugin. It's really robust. Um, you can put on your website. And what that does is it will take an image that you load and it will create a desktop version, a tablet version, a mobile version, a um, retina version of that same image, um, which is brilliant because then depending on what device you're loading, it loads the correct image. And you'll see a lot of um, load time is affected by that image, that JavaScript load. Um, so if you can optimize those images and size, I mean, that is the single easiest uh, way to increase load time. And it, you know, video, putting direct like MP4 link video or YouTube link background videos, you just want to weigh the pro and the con. Mm -hmm. um, just don't, but you got to get your speed. I mean, server speed obviously is a big, big issue there. You know, generally I'd say don't be on a shared server uh, and I won't name drop anyone, but there's a lot of cheap shared servers out there. Spend a few extra bucks and get like a cloud-based dedicated um, server so that your your man your load time is going to be be wicked fast love that love that what's a, a cloud-based server that you you're a big fan of uh we we host all of ours on either flywheel or kinsta um flywheel is a little bit more easy for the average person to kind of set up kinsta is a, a little bit more technical um but both both easily uh easily done and again you get all the perks that come with that as well so that makes makes a lot of sense. And I mean, like all these tools are just gold because it, it, like you said, anything you do get your load times. I love that Imageify I, idea too, because this drives me nuts when I go to a website on my desktop and looks good. And as soon as you go to the mobile, it, it looks like they haven't spent any time. But yeah. in your experience, where are people spending the most time when they're going to websites? Yeah, I mean, the data says it's absolutely all mobile yeah. um, and mobile meaning both tablet. It's funny. Tablets having a weird moment. Like it's actually emerging and growing. Uh, you know, so some people were like ignoring the tablet view because who has a tablet, but actually people are searching that now. But, and on the, the mobile viewing is so important. Like the, the client, like if you're the business owner, you're looking on your, your laptop, your desktop, that's what your secretary is on. That's what your project manager is probably on. But the reality is, you know, it was, if my wife calls me and said, Hey, we need to, you know, get landscaping done. I'm going to, Hey Siri, landscaping near me. I'm going to look at someone's site at a red light on my phone. That thing better load before the light turns green right. and show me something that either makes me come back to that later in my mind when, my, when I get home and my wife says, Hey, who are we rocking with to do the landscaping? Or, you know, it needs to have some quick, like tap call to action, tap, load my phone number, tap, tap to call. I mean, those mobile experiences are are huge. Like we, we could actually talk a long time on just the mobile data that's coming in and, and everything. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I'm glad you enjoyed this episode. I got several other episodes right here for you. Smash one of these videos to make sure that you don't miss out on the tips, tools, and tactics of industry experts. Let's take that side hustle full time. Smash one of these links.